Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about Sedenhans chorea, also called St. Vitus dance. What is Sedenhans chorea? This is a neurological disorder characterized by development of chorea in children and adolescent as a complication of previous group A hemolytic streptococcal infection. So this is an abnormal body movement. It is due to some neurological disturbance and it is associated with previous group A beta hemolytic streptococcal infection. The disorder may have been acute or insidious onset may occur within one week to six months following sore throat maybe pharyngitis maybe tonsillitis it usually subsides within four to six months Sydenham chorea is more common among girls it may recur during pregnancy and we call it Chorea gravidarum, or in women taking oral contraceptive pill, they may have recurrence of Sydenham chorea. So, this is a disease of the children, adolescent. Usually, it is not, doesn't happen under the age of five, it is rare. Okay, so we are looking at the Sydenham's chorea or St. Vitus dance. We have asymmetrical movement, tongue, face, enter body movement, and it is involuntary movement. And the child become irritable. It's, they may develop behavioral problem. Some type of obsessive compulsive disorder may come along with that. And they are very much irritating behavior and maybe disobedient to the superiors. So this all happened in Sydenham Korea, also called Korea Minor, also called St. Vitus Dance, also called Rheumatic Korea, because it is a it is a sequelae of rheumatic fever, rheumatic arthritis. Okay. What is Korea? Korea means dancing movement. The ceaseless occurrence of rapid, jerky, dyskinetic, involuntary movement is the chorea. What are the characteristics of Sydenham's chorea? The abnormal movement involves the face and tongue or the entire body. Sometimes it is asymmetrical, may be mistaken for restlessness with agitation. Chorea disappear during sleep, usually. Okay, and the Child or adolescent sleep, usually there is no chorea. Patient may develop decrease in muscle tone, weakness. They may develop tick, obsessive compulsive symptom, and may have emotional liability. Liability. Okay. So, what is the cause of Sydenham chorea? It is a neurological disorder. But the exact cause is not known, possibly an autoimmune mechanism. Streptococcal infection induces production of antibodies affecting multiple organs like what? Joints, kidney, heart, and the basal ganglia of the brain. What is the purpose of basal ganglia? Basal ganglia makes the platform for the voluntary movement. We'll get extra pyramidal movement due to disturbance in the basal ganglia. What are the basal ganglia? These are the caudate nucleus, lentiform nucleus, the clostrum, the putamen globus pallidus. So these are the basal ganglia. So what happened? There is some antibody production because of tetrococcal infection. That antibody not only involved the joint, not only caused polyarthritis not only cause nephritis or carditis but also 
it affects the basal ganglia of the brain the caudate nucleus lentiform nucleus the clostrum globus pallidus and the putamen okay so we got the serenum chorea and there is disturbance in the disturbance in the basal ganglia exact mechanism it is not known yet about 30 percent of cases there is cardiac pathology especially there may be some valvular disease although the aso anti-steptolysin o titer and esr electrocyte sedimentation rate are within normal range mri of the brain can exclude other anomaly inside the cranial cavity so it not only look at the basal ganglia also identify other things echocardiography because heart may be defective due to, due to as a sequelae of of rheumatic fever there may be valvular damage or pathology that could be determined by means of the echocardiography okay so we'll go to the treatment of serenum cardia it is usually a self-limiting disease after four to six months usually it disappears but for acute case we or moderate case we can provide this treatment bed rest must sedation by by benzodiazepine long-term application of antibiotic penicillin initially intravenously followed by oral dose of penicillin until about the age of 20 to prevent cardiac valve damage other medication may be used in case of agitation or excessive movement we can give haloperidol diazepam this is also a muscle relaxant this is an antipsychotic drug even we can use the valproic acid that is an this is an anti epileptic drug okay and that's all about the sydenham chorea also called rheumatic chorea also called chorea minor also called san vitus dance the problem is that there is history of streptococcal infection and there will be production of antibody the streptococcal they themselves are antigen they will produce antibody that antibody not only damage the other part of the body but also the basal ganglia possibly so there will be joint pain multi-joint pain that is not unlikely okay so we'll have high esr count usually in case of rheumatoid arthritis we'll look for that also we'll look for mri of the brain that is also essential to identify any problem inside the brain okay so these are the investigation we do and we will manage by bed rest and also we can give anti-convulsant drug muscle relaxant also we can use the haloperidol one of the antipsychotic drug for when the, when the, the condition will be deteriorated it can be used and that's all about the Serenham Korea. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends and please support me. Please subscribe me. Have a nice day. Bye now.